Hello again, everyone. My name is Amrita Randhava, and I am the head of faculty at the Educator Development Academy. I'm going to give you a short overview of module one of the Professional Development Program for Early Childhood Educators. The first module is called Child Development and Introduction. Now, many of you may wonder why you need to study child development. Some of you may be convinced that you've already studied this in college and there's nothing new to learn. Others may think that it's a bit out of place in a course focused on education. The truth is that nothing in education can progress without a thorough understanding of child development. And there are changes and new discoveries in the field all the time. So we must know the current research about how children grow and develop and what we can expect of children at different ages and stages. Child development is the study of how and why children develop their thought processes, patterns of social behavior and emotional reactions. In this module, you will learn how children grow and develop through the early childhood years across four domains of development. You will also learn some key theories of child development and how to apply these theories of child development in your work. Join me as I walk you through our learning outcomes. Okay, so we're going to very quickly go over the learning outcomes for module one of the PDPE. As you might imagine, many of these are focused on the theories as well as developmental milestones. So the very first thing we want, to be, want you to be able to do is for you to be able to describe development. So to start with the basic nature and processes of child development, then the four domains of child development. So we're talking about physical, cognitive, social, and emotional. People always wonder where language disappears. Language is part of the cognitive domain. And finally, we want you to be able to describe the teacher's role in facilitating development across the domains. Next, we want you to examine the progress of children in your classroom with reference to the milestone charts. So we want you to first be able to read the milestone charts and then look at the children in your classroom and think, okay, how are they doing on this milestone? Are they doing what's typical or is it um, not what's typical? Is there a problem? That's what um, this part is about. The next thing that we want you to do is to be able to explain development using milestones, right? So not just examine their progress, but also say, okay, so if this is where a child has reached now, in two months or three months or four months, we expect that we will see these kinds of changes um, and that will help you determine whether A, your interventions or your classroom practices are appropriate for the needs of the child. And then also B, will help you understand whether the child is developing typically. And then finally, we want you to be able to apply theories to understand the development of, ch of the children in your classroom. Right? So there's no point just learning these theories. Uh, you need to be able to say, okay, if this is what Bronfenbrenner said, or if this is what Piaget said, then what does this mean for the children in my classroom? So we are very excited to have you join us on this journey through uh, the child development. Uh, it's going to be a quick one, uh, just two weeks. So I'm sure all of you will have a great time reviewing or learning for the first time all of this information on child development, milestones, domains, and theories. <laughs>